Hi, and welcome to this video guide on how to build a contact management application with Caspio. In the final video of the series, I will show you how to deploy the entire application from Caspio to Weebly. Let's have a look. Now that we have the entire application created inside Caspio, let's see how easy it is to deploy each one of these data pages into our Weebly website. Before I do that, however, let's go into Weebly first, and I'd like to show you how you can navigate the website builder so that you know exactly how to lay out your content. Once you're inside Weebly, this is the console that you will see. And it's actually very easy to create a new website in Weebly. Over here to the left, you're gonna see a drop-down menu. And inside my account, I have two websites created, one for my manager portal and one for my employee portal, because my application has two different levels of users. And that's also how I want you to set up your websites as well. Both of these two websites in Weebly are completely free. I'm actually using the free plan, and you can use the free plan as long as you have the Weebly branding inside the URL. If you decide to remove this extension, then yes, you will be paying a monthly fee with Weebly. But this is just a training course. I'd like to show you how you can use a free website to be able to embed the Caspio application. If you have an additional need for more sites, you can always click on the link down below. So now, how do I edit my website? You'll select the website. And then over here in the upper right corner, you'll see Edit Website button. You click on that, and this is going to take you inside the framework. The first thing that I want you to do is select the theme for your website. So you go up here, you select Theme, and then you can change the layout by clicking on this button here to the left. And then once you click on that, you're going to see a gallery of website templates that you can choose from for your specific project. If you want to use the same template that I'm using, just click on this one here, Innovation. That might be the easiest one to start with, just for the sake of learning. You can also preview each one of the themes, and then when you're done, click on Choose. And then once you do that, Weebly is going to take you inside the framework for that specific template. You're gonna see a default navigation menu here at the very top, and what I want you to do is set up your own navigation menu. And to do that, you go to Pages, and as you can see, these are the pages that I've added to my navigation menu. I have a total of six. It's very easy to add a new navigation menu item. You click on the plus sign here, and then you can create a different type of page. You can also have additional web pages and decide to hide them from the navigation menu, like I'm doing inside this web page. So when I select this page, you can see how I'm hiding it. If I want to show that in my navigation menu, I can just uncheck the box and now you're gonna be able to see that in my navigation menu. This web page will be hidden. The way our users are actually going to get to this web page is by clicking on that link that we have created inside the data page. Remember that HTML block where I put that placeholder google.com? That's where I'm going to paste this URL. So when people click on the details of a contact, they go to this page to be able to see that information. But I'm gonna go ahead and hide that and just keep that hidden from my navigation menu. The logout page is not an actual web page. So when you create the logout link, you click on the plus sign, you're going to create this page called external page. Because it's not actually part of our main navigation menu, it doesn't take you to a web page, it's just gonna log you out of the application. All of the other ones that you see in my navigation menu, I'm using a standard page. Because on the standard page, we can embed the Caspio data pages. And the last thing that we want to look at is the build element. So here you can drag all of these elements into your canvas to be able to add different type of content to your website. So when I go to this page, Contacts, I can drag elements inside the canvas. And the element that I want to drag is the embed code. So you move this widget to the right. And then what you're going to do inside this box, click inside it, edit the HTML, and then you have to paste the Caspio code. So let's go back to Caspio and grab that data page for this web page. So back in Caspio, inside the manager folder, I have manage contacts. We're going to hit deploy, enable deployment status, and then Caspio is going to give me the embed code. All I need to do is copy that code, go back to Weebly, click inside that box one more time, edit the HTML and paste my Caspio code. Click outside the box, and now you're gonna be able to see the login screen in your canvas because that data page is password protected. Now I can continue embedding all of my other data pages to my website 
But if you'd like to just quickly see what this looks like on the web, you can just hit publish, let Weebly do its thing, and when it's done, click on the URL, and there's my login screen. So now if I log in as Sarah, who happens to be the sample user of my application, she is the manager. I can log in and I can see that contact and you can see how now this data page is displayed on my Weebly website. If I want to make modifications to my application, I can go back to Caspio, edit my tables, edit my data pages to include additional fields, to remove fields, or change the functionality of my app. From here, you'll notice that all of my other web pages are empty because I haven't deployed my other data pages. So if I navigate back and forth between my links, you will see how the content is empty. And the only one that I've deployed so far is Manage Contacts. So let's continue deploying the rest of the data pages. I'll go back to Weebly. I'll go to this web page called Add Contact. And I once again need to drag over my element. But before I do that, let me go back to Caspio and find that data page. It's this one here, Add New Contact. I'm going to hit Deploy. Enable Deployment Status. Copy my code and just follow the same process. So just move over the embed code, click inside the box, edit the HTML, and paste your Caspio code, and you will see the form. Let's continue deploying the other data pages, so manage users. So here is manage users, I'm gonna hit deploy. And you can see how simple this is. We're just copying code and pasting the code into our Weebly CMS. So move over the embed code, paste my code, and I should be able to see the report of all of my users. Let's go to add user, back to Caspio. Here's my data page, deploy, grab my code. and paste the code. So I have one more web page to edit, and the way I'm going to get to that web page is by going back to Pages, because I'm hiding that additional contact details web page. I can go back to Pages, click on that from here, and then now I can edit my content directly inside this window. So I can go back to Build. Once again, we remain on that same contact details web page, and I'm going to be embedding three different data pages to this web page. So I need my contact details, and I need my log form and the log history. So let's go back to Caspio. That should be inside my shared folder. So here is the view details of a contact. Let's grab the code. Back to Weebly. Okay. Let's go and grab the other two. So back into data pages, add log. And I'm going to paste my second one inside that same window directly underneath this deploy code. So back into Caspio. Here's my log history. Copy. And let's edit this HTML and directly underneath this because I want both of these two data pages to be stacked one on top of the other so it's easy for us to see the form and the results directly underneath. So let's click outside and we have all of the data pages completed on the management side. So let me hit publish to see what this looks like. All right, so now when I navigate back and forth between my web pages, I should be able to see Add Contact, Manage Users, Add New Users, and I can go back to Manage Contacts. Now, one thing that's left to change here is right now, if I hover over this link, Contact Details, it's going to point to Google.com. We actually want our users to remain on our website. So what I need you to do here is to copy the URL of your web page. Just go ahead and copy that. Go into your Caspio account and find that data page for managing contacts, which is this one here inside the manager folder. Click on edit. And let's navigate to our HTML block. Okay, so there's the HTML block. All I need you to do is just to click on the source button here to see the HTML code. Here's my placeholder, google.com. I'm just going to replace google.com 
with the link that I just copied. And what you need to do is just add the name of your web page. And our web page name is contactdetails.html. That's the web page that we created in Weebly. And that web page is going to see those three data pages embedded. So now let me hit finish and let's test this out. If I go back to my website and I click refresh, now when I click on this details link, it should take me to contactdetails.html. And here you can see that we have our contact details. We have the log form. You can see how we're successfully passing the contact ID inside that field. I passed the contact ID from the results page inside my URL. And we're feeding this ID into this text field for contact ID. And we're also populating the user's ID that's logged into the application. In this case, that's going to be Sarah. So now that we know that the data is being passed successfully, I can go back to my data page, edit the form, and simply just hide both of these two fields. And you're going to do that by going back into your account, expand the shared folder. Here's my add log form. I'm going to click Edit. Let's click Next a few times. And all you need to do is just simply hide the contact ID field hide the user ID field because that doesn't really need to be visible. You don't want the end user to tamper with that information. And now when I hit finish, go back to my website, refresh, and you will see how both of those two fields are hidden. And now Sarah can go ahead and add a new log if she wants to. We can say something like this, test, hit submit, and there's the submission directly underneath. We have completed deployment of all of the data pages on the management side. Now let's finish everything by deploying all of the data pages for employees as well. Again, very easy to do that. Let's go back into Weebly. Close that. Close out of the builder. It's going to take me back to the home page, the console. And all I need to do is select my other website, which is for the employees. Click on Edit. and repeat the same steps. We just need to go ahead and move over the embed code widget into our canvas and deploy all of the Caspio data pages. So let's begin with my contacts. I'm gonna go back to my account, open up the employee folder, grab my deploy code, copy it, back into Weebly, drag the widget. And again, within just a few minutes, we're going to have our entire application deployed on Weebly, and our employees and our management team will be able to log in now and have full access to the application to manage contacts and also the details and the logs of each contact. Let's go to Add Contact now. Back to Caspio. This is inside my shared folder because both management and employees can add a new contact. Update profile. That will be inside the employee folder. Move the embed code. And I know that it's a repetitive process, but it's actually so easy. It's just going to take you a few minutes to get everything completed. And then we finally have one more page to finish, which is that contact details. So back to pages. Here's my contact details page. I'm going to go back to build. And I just need to deploy those same three data pages inside this web page. So back into Caspio. Here's contact details. Copy. Click inside. Paste. All right. And then we just have two more left. So back into Caspio. Copy it. Paste. And one more. A few logs. Copy the code. Edit. And paste directly underneath. Okay, so let me go ahead and publish this web page now. And let's go to our link for employee portal. And we can go ahead and log in. I know that one of my employees is Raj, so let's go ahead and log in as rajcompany.com, password test. Here I am logged in, and Raj can see his own contact. 
The last step that we need to do, which is what we did on the management side as well, is to copy the URL link, go back to Caspio, find the report, view my contacts, click edit, and we just need to replace that placeholder, same way as we just did a few minutes ago, inside the HTML block. Click on source and remove google.com with the link that we just copied. And last step, we also call the same page contactdetails.html because that's the name of my web page in Weebly. And this web page will have those three data pages deployed. Let's hit finish. And let's test it out. Back into this tab, I can refresh my page. So here we can add contacts as employees. I can update my password. I can go back to my contacts and I can click on the details. I should be able to see the details of the contact, the submission form, and also the results. And now both management and employees can leave logs and also see the history of all the logs on that specific contact. The last thing that I wanna point out here is when your users log out of the application, you need to put a logout link from Caspio inside Weebly. And to find that logout link, Inside Caspio, go to your authentications, and for the employees, click on properties, copy this logout link. Okay, you can just right click and copy or just do control C on the keyboard. And inside Weebly, when you go back to pages, so this is my employee side, let's go see all the pages. Here's my logout link, this is my page. I can click on this and all you need to do is just paste that link as the external link and then go back to save your changes. What that's gonna do is now when your users log out and be redirected to a specific page of your own choosing. And the one that I recommend is the very first page. So this is the home page where you're always taken to this report or initially you'll see a login screen. So you can copy this link, go back to Caspio, edit the authentication, Scroll down a little bit, expand the advanced settings, and log out and destination. What you can set here is a new page and just paste that link like that. And what that's going to do is when your users log out, they're going to be taken to that specific URL, which is typically the home page of a website. Same thing with timeout and redirection. You can change that as well. Let's set this to maybe eight hours, new page, and then have the users be redirected to that page if they're away from the application for eight hours. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click Save. And now you have completed the entire deployment of your application. Hopefully you enjoyed this video guide. We learned how to build an app in Caspio from start to finish. We also learned how to deploy the entire application to Weebly. And I hope that you'll be able to build your own applications using Caspio and whatever platform you decide to go with as far as deploying your application. If you go with Weebly or Webflow or Yola, just know that Caspio is compatible with many CMS platforms available today. So whatever preference you have, it's gonna be the same concept. You're gonna copy Caspio code and you're gonna paste that code into your website builder. Thanks for watching the video guide. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like it, leave us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. And we look forward to talking to you regarding your application needs. Take care, bye-bye.